Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you one of the best ways to display your creations. So you've made a nice um, creative build and you you know you want to show it off. Um, so this is just going to be another way to do it uh, through Blender. That looks very, very cool. So it looks like this or that. Now, it's not complicated. I'm going to be walking you through all the steps. and It'll be no problem. You don't have to know Blender. Now, all the links are going to be below for the, the downloads, so don't worry about that. Now the first thing you need to download and open is MC Edit. So I'm going to open that up. And you need to load your world. So the world I'm going to be using is right here. Okay, now you need, the most important thing is you need to set your spawn point at the area you want to be copying. So that's the only thing you need to do in MC Edit, which is fairly simple. You can just fly around and then you can right click to get your cursor and move spawn point. And I'm going to move it right on top of here. Fix it for me. There you go. Okay. And uh, then Control S will save it. Now, you can see this is a nice big build. This was done by Block underscore Fortress on Planet Minecraft and YouTube. And he's been courteous enough to give me a lot of downloads. This is also kind of a sneak preview into Cinematic 4. This is going to be one of the scenes. Um, yeah, he's a really amazing builder. Check him out. His link will be in the description. So anyways, we're going to use this. That's all you need to do here. As soon as you've saved, you can actually just uh, close right out of MC Edit. Okay, the next thing you need to do is download the MC object, which is in the description as well. It converts your file to an object file. Now, you need to go into your Minecraft folder. You can do that by typing in run uh, from start and typing percent sign app data percent sign. Then go into your .minecraft folder into your saves and throw it here. So you see MC object is here. Uh, now what you need to do is get the folder name is really all you need. So I'm just going to rename it something much easier like um, new. I'll call it new. Okay. Now you go to start, type in CMD and get your command prompt open. Now you need to change the directory to this directory. So CD C users then your username, whatever your computer is called, mine's just Matt. Then app data dot Minecraft. Oh, roaming first dot Minecraft saves. Okay, so now this is located in the folder. So now here's the command. Follow closely. Also, I will paste it in the description. This is the command to convert your map. So you need to do MC OBJ dash CPU, and if you have a quad core, use 4, if you have a dual, use 2, uh, dash S, 20, dash O, and then this is going to be the name of the object file, so you can put this as whatever you want, but I'm going to be, just keep it the same, do new, dot OBJ, space, percent sign, app data, I'm going to use capitals just like it says, app data, percent sign, slash dot minecraft slash saves slash and then the folder name so the folder name is just new for me and I hit enter and it's going to start converting now it doesn't convert a huge area it does convert uh, like I think 400 block radius uh, I don't know how you would modify that I think there's a way you can find out on the website for this uh, MC object but as long as you're doing around your spawn, you should get everything that you've uh, created in that area. So that's done. Now in your saves folder, you're going to have the new folders, new.mtl and .obj. You only need the one, I think, but I'm just going to drag them both to my desktop. And I'm going to open up Blender. Blender is a free application you can download. Okay, now Blender seems complicated, but just open it up like this. First things first, just hit this. Um, hit the delete key because it's already selected. Hit delete. Then go to File, go to User Preferences, Add-ons, type in OBJ, and you want to make sure that this is checked on. So as long as it's checked, then you're good to go. If it's not, just check it and, and uh, apply and save out of there. Okay, now you just need to go to File, Import, your OBJ, and then find it. So I already have the folder saved, but just find it on your desktop, and then click it, and then click Enter. 
Now, it's a 30 megabyte file. So even on my Core i7, it takes probably a minute or two to open. So I'm going to pause that now. Okay, so it's back. It's here. But it's um it's been moved way over here. So But as soon as you go back to this view, then you'll know it's imported. Now, if you right-click and hold down and start moving, it will move for you. Uh, it takes a minute to respond sometimes, depending on your computer speed. Um, and then when you have it kind of in the position, you just left click. Okay, then you can zoom in. Now to to zoom around with the camera, just like I am, quick little tutorial. Hold down the middle mouse button, and you can kind of get this like different views. Um, now, but to navigate this more precisely, just do like I'm doing with the arrows, and as quick as possible, I'm going to get it into position here. It just needs to be above the grid. You can see there's the grid, and I just need the build above the grid. Cool. Okay, so, as you can see, here's our world. Well, you know, part of it from the spawn point. Um, but because we set the spawn there, it's all here. Now the next thing you need to do is add some lighting, which is really easy. Click this button over here, this little world button. Um, then go to ambient occlusion, checkbox that. And about 0 0.25 works best, I find. But you can modify that as you're, to your liking. You won't notice the change yet until we render. Okay, now this, this guy right here, this black thing, if you can see it, this is your camera. So wherever this is positioned is where it's going to snapshot your render. So if you right-click that, you can select it, and then you can move it around with these arrows. And once you've got it into position with the arrows, I'll show you how to rotate it. So just pause for a second. Okay, so once you have this into a position that you want, you're next going to need to rotate it. Now to rotate it, you need to come down here, click this little button here, and then you're going to get this different viewfinder, and obviously you can rotate on the different lines, the different axis. So I'm going to rotate like that, and I'm going to also rotate it a bit so it's more straight. And we're going to test render this here. So if you hit F12, also depending on your computer speed, this will take longer or shorter, um, but it's going to do... Um, a render for you. So as you can see, this is almost perfect for how I want it. The lighting's good. You could turn that up or down however you need, but you can see there's shadows and lighting. Um, basically, you can hit escape to, to pop out of this, uh, rotate your camera more, and try different different angles. And that's about it. I mean, I'm not sure how to actually render this as a screenshot, so I'll usually just um, hit print screen on my keyboard and um, then, you know, edit that, just crop it, and uh, you got yourself a, a neat little way to, you know, display your, your build. So, yeah, if you like this, um, just uh, hit the like. I would really appreciate it. And um, Cinematic 4 is on the way. Um, doing, like, I have all these crazy builds. Block Fortress is working one-on-one -on -one with me. We have some amazing stuff. Like, this is going to be the best one yet. So it's coming very soon. I'm hoping within the next five, ten days. But let's, you know, let we'll see what we can do. But I'm trying. It's amazing. You're gonna love it. So <laughs> stay tuned for that. And subscribe if this helped you out. Um, yeah, appreciate it. Thanks a lot, guys. Have fun with this.